Aloha everybody, Malibu tuning in to this episode of Fish and Girls. We got lucky in the shallows today with this beautiful bluefin trevally, also known as Omelu. This is above 10 pounds, so it's considered as an ulua. We're gonna take it out and make some delicious fish dishes, so stay tuned. for this episode of Fishing Let's go. All right, heading to the next spot. Water is nice and clean. And uh, we come across this cave. I shot a wire before this. And as I was retrieving it out of the cave, I noticed two good sized alluas in the back. So I went back up to the surface and yelled to Caleb, yo, there's two alluas in here. Go check it out. So he goes in the cave next over and I check in this one again. And I noticed it was empty, so I decided to check in the next cave over, right in front of this, and I saw a nice size of Melu swimming out in the circle. Got in a good shot. As soon as I came up to him, I seen him. He was struggling with the fish. The fish was about to go back into the hole, get everything all tangled up. He started going crazy. How did I tell? He yelled to Caleb, yo, put in this second shot, I'm about to lose it. So he shoots it, sinks it in. Nice holding shot. But it wasn't a stone shot. So usually with big fish, if you don't kill them right away, you get they get really hasslesome. So I pull out the knife, brain them, dispatch them, and then cut his gills to bleed him out so that when he's dead, we're able to untangle up that huge mess Boom. and take home this prize. Okay, now that the fish is dispatched, we can uh, untangle our lines. As you can see, it's a big bird mess. The fish is out, so it was easy to untangle everything. Took about a few minutes, brought it back to the floater, brought it back home. Job well done. Aloha, everybody. We got this beautiful bluefin chavali shucks. Oh, hello, hey everybody. We got lucky in the shallows with this beautiful bluefin trevally, also known as Omelu. And it's above 10 pounds, so it's considered as an Ulua. We're gonna take it home, make some delicious fish dishes. Stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grills. <laughs> Hello hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna grab a few ingredients here at times for our Ulua that's in the cooler right now. So, hello my, follow me. Sweet cream butter. Okay, yeah, we do that again. So 10 plus three, because this thing is three pounds off, 13 pounds. Hello hey everybody, welcome back. We are here, we have our lua. We're gonna break it down, we're gonna flip, we're gonna cut it into sections, put it in our refrigerator, we'll to let it cool down and firm up and getting ready for our dinner. Stay tuned. All right, first step, we're gonna cut off the knives. Okay, right here, this is a defense mechanism. We come back from the outside. We're gonna work our way in. So this is the bluefin trevally. See that? Very sharp. 
also known as bluefin kingfish, spotted chirali, or most commonly known as omilu. This fish can be found worldwide in tropical waters, ranging from Africa, Australia, Japan, and all throughout Polynesia. All right, next we're gonna scrape up the scales. Apart from the jacks family, there are over 150 species of jacks, 24 of which reside here in Hawaii. Considered as an apex predator, this fish will feed on anything it could fit in its mouth. Diet consists of crab, shrimp, squid, octopus, and other small reef fish. This fish is one of the world's most popular game fish for anglers and spear fishermen alike. This fish has a powerful fight and delicious meat. Can also be found in both open waters and in shallow reefs. The Hawaii State record came in at 28.8 pounds, caught off Kaneohe in 2007. It has a white, firm, clean, and mild taste to the meat. Best served as sashimi, seared, grilled, baked, and many more ways this fish can be delicious. All right, so this is called fish roll, fish eggs. Very edible, very soft, sweet, delicate, just delicious right there. This fish though is also on the high watch list for cigataria, so catch and consume at your own risk. These are trevally eggs, or can be called as fish roe. Best prepared topped with garlic salt and pepper, fried medium well in a pan with butter and garlic. Might as well throw in some rosemary too. It's very rich in flavor, smooth and sweet. Let's see what this guy ate. And the texture is almost like fresh mashed potatoes. Fish eggs are high in omega-3 fatty acids, proteins, and magnesium. And fish eggs are a delicacy worldwide, definitely a tasty treat. A bunch of fish bones, crab shells. Oh, the yummies. All right, now everything's all broken down, cut into sections. Time to go cook it up. Stay tuned. All right, so our Ulua slabs has been chilling in the refrigerator for a couple hours to let it firm up. Makes it easier to prep. So what we're gonna do, we cut into little sections. Garlic, salt, pepper. We're gonna fry it in butter and garlic real quick. Give me a couple, give me 10, 15 seconds each side. Sear it. And then, so I'll show you with the rice. Stay tuned. All So with this one, we're gonna make um, garlic, salt, pepper, fried in butter and garlic. And for this one, we're gonna make sashimi. And for this one, we're gonna make hot oil garlic. We have the we have the collars, we have the ribs, we have all the skin that we're all gonna make for our ulua soup.
for this one, I have it in bigger chunks of sashimi. I, what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna dump hot oil garlic on it and let the hot oil just cook it halfway and eat it like that. All right, so our garlic is pretty much cooked, ready to be tossed on our fish. We're just gonna cook it real quick over butter and garlic. Oh! Mm. Mm. Uh, you try? Pick the best piece of them all. Oh! Wow, it almost tastes like chicken. It's oh. kind of weird. <laughs> Shut down. And four. Cooking up that egg. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, smells good. Seared alua. Grilled alua. And shimi alua. And fish egg. So we got our piece nori. Some rice. Mm. Final dish of the evening. Fish roll, fish eggs. Very, very good. And our first taste test is gonna be. I don't know, it's my first time. Well, should I be scared? Yeah, I should dip into some shoyu you too. Never. Mm. Add that shoyu wasabi. Oh, it's hot. Oh, oh, it's, oh. So the steam, so the steam. That was so cool. <laughs> it's good though. Right no sauce, it's not straight. Straight alua eggs. Yep, it's good. It's good, right? It's like potato fish consistency. Delicious though. All right. Good. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna taste like mashed potato. Um, <laughs> mashed potato fish. Right? <laughs> That food was delicious. We had fun catching it, we had fun cooking it, and we had even more fun eating it. Hope we all enjoyed this episode of Fish, Fish and Grills. Yeah. Yeah.
Ah! Thank <laughs> you.